there, amazing. Welcome to Love, Dream, Live, your source of nuggets of wisdom that inspire you to love unconditionally, dream passionately, and live in harmony daily. Welcome your host, Aida, with today's topic. Hello and welcome. Today I'm really excited to share with you a quote from one of my very favorite authors. His name is Mark Nepo. And this quote is from the book, 7,000 Ways to Listen, which is an amazing book that if you haven't read it, I highly recommend it and you've got to check out 7,000 Ways to Listen. So the book talks about this quote, do not let the injury or limitation of one thing injure or limit all things. And this is really deep and I think that Every human has experienced times where we have had a bad day and we just let it spill itself into the next day and even the one after that. And it creates a pattern. And now instead of having one bad day, we've had a bad week and another week and a third week. And so we get ourselves in this cycle where, you know, if for whatever reason things didn't go well one day, Don't allow it to spill into everything else because suddenly we can feel stuck and in a pattern that seems to be hard to break. And it's like, how do I get out of this? Not allowing that to happen in the first place is the best thing to do. And we do that by choosing to move with it and allow it to go through us. And if it lingers and if it's there for a couple of days, then be okay with it, but let it go. So if you've had a bad day, try to learn to let it go and forgive and forget because that's going to make you happier than allowing that to spill itself into everything else in your life. So if you're having a terrible problem at work, don't allow that to spill into your personal life and you start creating problems in your family and you start yelling at your children or talking back to your spouse or doing things that you would normally not do if you weren't in a terrible mood. So don't allow the limitation of that one bad day or of that bad boss or bad job, whatever it is. Don't make the mistake of focusing on it and just go with it and learn to let go and acknowledge that it's there, but don't give it power because the more power that you feed it, the more that it gets bigger and stronger every day. And so instead of focusing on it and resisting it and finding ways to run away from it, allow it to pass through you. And at the end of your day, even though it was a bad day, just close your eyes and be thankful for one thing that happened that day that you can be grateful for. And it could be very simple like, You know, I'm very happy that today I was able to eat a healthy meal. Or I'm very happy that today I was able to see this special friend of mine. Whatever it is, try to find something good in that day. And that will usually help you in shining a little bit of light in that darkness. And not allowing yourself to completely close off and you know, stop allowing any light in at all because that's how it is. And if one thing happens, we allow it to create a domino effect and we allow it to just take over. And having the wisdom and awareness to see it before it happens is the best way that you can move forward and look at other areas of your life and where there is lightness and joy and happiness. And I'm not saying ignore your problem or, you know, ignore your limitation, but I am saying don't just look at that one thing. So if that problem is creating, you know, 20% of your reality and it's creating chaos in that part of your life, then look at it as that 20% and focus on that other 80%. And how you can make that 80%, 81, 82, and closer to 85 and 90 instead of trying to look at the 20% and trying to shrink it. Because oftentimes looking at it and focusing on our problems is only going to make them bigger. 
And so I encourage you to kind of, no matter what it is that you're facing, no matter what kind of challenges you're faced in life, try to look at it from a perspective that, hey, that is just one piece of my life. There's all these other pieces that are running, running very, very well. So that's just one missing piece of the puzzle. That's not the whole puzzle that's missing. So look at it that way. And again, if you haven't read the book, 7,000 Ways to Listen, I highly encourage you to do that. It's by Mark Nepo. And uh, thank you for listening today and have a great day. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe and share this episode with a friend. Visit lovedreamlive.com for more. And remember to stop waiting. Decide to choose yourself. You can experience unconditional love. Create the life of your dreams and live in harmony and abundance every single day. See you again soon.